Yeah, Diane. I like the last one the best because of the part text that served to show, not just tell. Mm. And especially with the younger kids, you have to show them everything. You can't just tell them about it. Mm. So that's really important. Yeah, that makes it so powerful when they can see an example, right? When they can see it and identify it and see it again and return to it. What else? <coughs> Arthur. them to try something new. It empowers them to try something new. Um, I like the second to last one, that the pets become our partners and coaches to help them, you know, to bring joy to children. Because I think without that book, you know, helping to show the children who doesn't like something. Mm. Yeah. And it's almost like the authors are the co-teachers. You know, so it's not that, you know, there's more than one writing teacher in the room. You know, we always like, we're the writing teacher, the kids are the writing teachers, but the authors are also the writing teachers. And it's a nice way to think about authors as, you know, as a teacher as well. Yeah. When you return to something again and again, they're more likely to use it, to see it, to feel it, to, you know, so definitely. So I bet when, when you were reading your books last night, you even thought about the books you would return to again and again. Yes, definitely. And, and especially the whole, what we've been talking about, you know, the last couple of days, how September is building that writing community and making these authors and these books part of the community, as well as bringing our community together, right? Like you said, having this shared experience. Anyone else? Tracy? Just to piggyback on, on the one that Sharon chose, mental tests become our coaches and partners. Right. So it's almost like he, right. The, the author becomes like Real. a member of the family. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think Arthur was pointing out how I, he said, you always call me like Scott. Like I know, like Scott mentioned, like I know him. We're, Scott and I who wrote, you know, but taking Scott, a bath. Yeah. Scott, Scott, you notice how Scott, he's an author and illustrator. <laughs> I gave him a nickname too. <laughs> but it's true. Like they always start out with first and last name and suddenly it's Charlotte. Not Charlotte Dolatow. It's, it's just Charlotte, you know, or Jonathan. Jonathan London. Yes. Lo love him. Um, yeah, and it makes the kids feel, that's why I also love the idea about making the author posters so they can see what the authors look like, so they feel and, and realize they're real people like us. So, yeah. I just wanted to mention yeah. about the book posters. You know, the beginning of Scholastic, at least the class lines we saw, have a lot of really good pages on authors, and sometimes you tend to throw them out when you pull out the kids' So things. true. But in the front, I have some really good ones on Jen Gratt and some other people. Um, and they, they really are good pictures and they have yeah, quotes. Yeah, love those. Yeah. I have a whole file of them. Yeah. I love the idea of collecting these author posters, whether it's ones we find in the Firefly or ones that we, you know, create ourselves and using it as part of the immersion and getting started and building the excitement about learning from real authors and authors as our teachers. So that's why I asked you to read over your touchstone text whichever book you connected with the most or whichever book you thought your kids would just love to research that author, find their picture, some information so that you'd be able to present the author poster along with the book. Similar to what we did yesterday when we were imagining and, and laying out the immersion lessons for the How Writers Work Unit. 